Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a quick look at a feature of the Windows 10 version 2004 coming up a little later this year in April of 2020. And this is the next version of Windows 10, of course. One of the options that they've tweaked over time, and they had tweaked it in the uh, main November 2019 update, and they're tweaking it even a little further here in the... Um, version 2004 is the delivery optimization options for downloading updates so a lot of people have data caps on their connections and what happens when you have a data cap is that you got to be careful as to how much data you're consuming when downloading updates so now if you go into your settings and go into the windows update or update and security you will have advanced options at the bottom. In those advanced options, you have delivery optimization. In here, look at the advanced monitor. I know it's like so many steps just to get there, but in the advanced monitor, you now have the possibility of choosing your limits of upload and download. And those limits actually are the limits that were for a long time with little sliders and they weren't kind of telling you much they were just telling you well you know i'm um, actually going to use 45 percent of my capacity or whatever and it was kind of awkward because you didn't really know what it meant but now you got absolute bandwidth meaning that you can actually now select how many megabits per second for downloading updates in the background or the foreground. What's background and foreground? Foreground is when you see those down, those updates downloading and doing stuff. And the background is while you're doing something else, when you're using another app, what, um, how many megabits per second do you want to use of your connection? So for example, if you've got a 30 megabits per second connection, well, you might not want to have 30 megabits per second download of updates in the background if you're using your browser or doing something over the internet or watching videos because it's going to hog your internet. So you can actually limit how many megabits per second these downloads are going to take. So if you're at 30 megabits per second, you could say, that, well, you know, in the background while I'm doing other stuff, uh, use 5 megabits per second. And you know that 25 megabits per second of your internet connection is still available for other tasks. Um, the other one is in the foreground so if you're not doing anything and you're actually seeing when those updates download well um, then you can of course increase that um, amount of megabits per second and uh, you know let it go as fast as possible so that you can install these updates as fast as possible also so now not only do you have percentage of measured bandwidth you now have absolute bandwidth available which is really megabits per second being used and of course for a data cap a monthly data cap you have the regular uh, options that were actually there already in the um, previous versions where you can limit how much bandwidth is used for uploading updates first of all that's an equivalent of what we just did here but you have monthly upload limit you can actually say well you know i don't want more than uh, you know, 10 gigabyte of data or, you know, depending on your data cap, 100 gigabyte of data maximum because I only have, you know, 250 gigabyte available in the, my day, monthly data, for example. So you can limit the amount of data used by updates every month. So that's some of the new features or the tweaked new features of the uh, version 2004 of Windows 10. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.